George Bailey. Help him, dear father. Joseph, Jesus, and Mary, help my friend, Mr. Bailey. Help my son, George, tonight. He never thinks about himself, God. That's why he's in trouble. George is a good guy. Give him a break, God. I love him, dear Lord. Watch over him tonight. Please, God, something's the matter with Daddy. Please bring Daddy back. Hello, Joseph. Trouble? Looks like we'll have to send someone down. A lot of people asking for help for a man named George Bailey. George Bailey? Yes, tonight's his crucial night, you're right. We'll have to send someone down immediately. Whose turn is it? That's why I came to see you, sir. It's that clockmaker's turn again. Oh, Clarence hasn't got his wings yet, has he? We've passed him up right along. Because you know, sir, he's got the IQ of a rabbit. Yes, but he's got the faith of a child. Simple. Joseph, send for Clarence. You sent for me, sir? Yes, Clarence. A man down on Earth needs our help. Splendid. Is he sick? No, worse. He's discouraged. At exactly 10.45 p.m. Earth time, that man will be thinking seriously of throwing away God's greatest gift. Oh, dear, dear, his life. Then I've only an hour to dress. What are they wearing now? You will spend that hour getting acquainted with George Bailey. Sir, if I should accomplish this mission, I mean, uh, might I perhaps win my wings? I've been waiting for over 200 years now. Sir, and people are beginning to talk. What's that book you've got there? Oh, The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. Clarence, you do a good job with George Bailey, and you'll get your wings. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Poor George. Sit down. Sit down? What do we... If you're going to help a man, you want to know something about him, don't you? Well, naturally, of course well, I... keep your eyes open. See the town? Where? I, I don't see a thing. Oh, I forgot. You haven't got your wings yet. Now, look, I'll help you out. Concentrate. Begin to see something? Why, yes, this is amazing. If you ever get your wings, you'll see all by yourself. Oh, wonderful. Yay! Yay! Easy! Okay, boys, let's go! Hey, who's that? That's your problem, George Bailey. A boy? That's him when he was 12, back in 1919. Something happens here you'll have to remember later on. Come on, Marty. Kid brother, Harry Bailey! I'm not scared! Come on, Harry! 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 Come on, but he caught a bad cold, which infected his left ear. It cost him his hearing in that ear. It was weeks before he was able to go back to his after-school job at Old Man Gower's drugstore. Mr. Potter! Who's that? A king? That's Henry F. Potter, the richest and meanest man in the county. Hot dog! It's me, Mr. Gower, George Bailey. You all right? Yes, sir. Hello, George. Hello, Mary. Hello, Violet. Two cents worth of shoelaces? She was here first. I'm still thinking. Shoelaces? Please, Georgie. I like him. You like every boy. What's wrong with that? Here you are. Help me down? Help you down? Me? 
made up your mind yet? I'll take chocolate. With coconuts? I don't like coconuts. You don't like coconuts? Say, Brainless, don't you know where coconuts come from? Look at here. From Tahiti, the Fiji Islands, the Coral Sea. A new magazine. I never saw it before. Of course you never. Only us explorers can get it. I've been nominated for membership in the National Geographic Society. Is this the year you can't hear on? George Bailey, I'll love you till the day I die. I'm going out exploring someday. You watch. And I'm going to have a couple of harems and maybe three or four wives. Wait and see. Yes, sir? You are not pay to be a canary? No, sir. Something? Anything? Oh. Anything I can do back here? Oh. I'll get them, sir. Take, take those cups and go with Mrs. Blaine. Just wait for them. Yes, sir. Hey, sir. Yeah. Is it a charge, sir? Yes, charge. Mr. Gower, I think. Oh, good going. Yes, sir. 